Newcastle 2, Manchester City 3 yesterday was some game, wasn't it? It's interesting on match of the day, Barry, that they, they did a kind of goal of the day. Because all five goals were great in this yes. game. And they all went for Bernardo Silvers as the best goal of the game. And I would take issue with that. Because I think Kevin De Bruyne's goal is so elite. I think it is. I just think there are almost no players that would even think about attempting that. I think lots of players would attempt what Bernardo Silva did. In fact, I have I have scored a goal a bit like that, right? And that is a oh, lot of Henry luck, goal. you know. No, no. But there is no way I would even consider doing what Kevin De Bruyne did, right? Every, even the top players in the world are thinking I'm going to try and curl that in the top right-hand corner or I've got to put power on it. But to just open up your body and then faint to go one way and then just go, well, I could just pass it there. <laughs> Why don't I just pass it there? It's so brilliant. It's, it's sort of, I'm, hopefully I'm articulating this well enough and you appreciate that is an absolute work of, that goal is a work of genius. It, well, all the goals were were. Excellent. I would agree with you. Um, I would say Bernardo Silva, because he sort of caught it on the half volley. Yeah, it's beautiful. Is, you know, that made it a little bit more special. But, uh, and I would, I suppose if you wanted to really nitpick, you could say Kevin De Bruyne got a slight bit of luck because he went through someone's a defender's legs, was it Sven Botman's mm. legs. So that was slightly fortuitous, but he knew exactly what he wanted to do. He knew exactly where he wanted to place the ball. And I suppose you, you earn your luck. Um, yeah. Who knows, maybe he foresaw uh, the parting of the Botman uh, legs. You know, he factored that into his calculations. But it it was a wonderful goal. I mean, I think Sky sort of missed a trick, or it was a TNT missed a trick um in not playing the Jaws music when he started warming up on the <laughs> the touchline. I mean, how disheartening must it be when you, if you're a a Newcastle player or a, an Arsenal fan or a Liverpool fan or a Villa fan, just to see City going into the new year with a fit, rested and firing Kevin De Bruyne. Like, for my money, I can't think of many better players who ever played in the yeah. Premier League than him. Gianfranco Zola if... was always my, my go-to yeah. greatest ever Premier League no, player, but I think De Bruyne is just yeah. way better. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think the Jaws music is right because cause Jaws is a sort of... The thing about De Bruyne is he doesn't look menacing, right? And I think it's fair <laughs> to say He particularly Jaws... doesn't look menacing now with his, with his <laughs> no, new hair, his With his big boots. But like Jaws arguably looked men like a big part of Jaws is he looks menacing to me. Whereas De Bruyne looks I I I Well you, know, you see you're wrong there, Max, because Okay. I'll tell you why. Tell me, yeah. Right. If you watch Jaws, I don't think yeah. you actually see the shark for over an hour. A long time. Wow. Bit like De Bruyne, and the reason you don't see the shark for an hour, <laughs> the same as De Bruyne, <laughs> is because he's waiting because he's had a hamstring. The, man, the mechanical shark that they made looked so preposterous <laughs> and unrealistic, yeah. and kept breaking down that they decided, right, um, we're going to have to put off showing people this thing yeah, for as long okay. as possible. So they relied on the the cello sound effects uh, to instill the terror and the suspense. Wow. But when you do finally see him, he's quite menacing. The great white shark is a menacing beast. I don't think De Bruyne is a great white shark. I, I, I can't think of... So you, didn't, like you don't think badger. Eddie Howe glanced up across to the, no. the city bench and went, we're going to need a bigger boat? No. No, I think... <laughs> we're gonna, I, I was going to say a bigger boat, boat man, but that doesn't work, does it? Because <laughs> his, he was too big already, Botman, wasn't he? But, but I... Um, no, he's more like a... So a honey badger, I believe, has the strongest sort of bite, pound for pound bite in the world. But if you looked at a honey badger, you'd think, ah, oh, it's just a little honey badger. You don't look at De Bruyne and think, I'm scared of you. It doesn't even look like a footballer. And that's what makes him even better. And like, that pass um, to Oscar Bottom oh. is almost better than the finish. <laughs> like, there's no... Like, the finish, you've probably got a yard either side, maybe half a yard either side, and it still scores. That pass has to go exactly there. It can't go... Any more power on it, and it goes out of play. Any less, and Trippier gets it. Like, it's absolutely insane how good that pass is. And then, to be fair to Oscar Bob, in the in injury time, for someone who's never scored a goal in the Premier League, to take three 
absolutely perfect touches. While off balance. <laughs> While off balance. It's just totally, oh, it's to. I mean, it's breathtaking. And they're really good. And, and sort of within, I, I got yelled at by City fans the other day. I was talking about writing about the title race and saying that there's not a lot of romance, I think, in City winning because, you know, they win all the time. But even within that, what a story for this guy, you know, like it's this 20 year old from Norway who's found himself in this elite football club and he scores his first goal. And it was absolutely, it was brilliant. I do feel for Trippier because he played really well, actually. And there he is lying on his haunches. <laughs> he, we know he's been exhausted for months and he's kept Doku quiet all game. And then just, he, there's not, he, you know, it's just a perfect pass. Sometimes you can be great and unlucky. Yeah, Trippier seems to have spent quite a lot of time in recent weeks sort of lying uh, hunkered down looking sad or lying on his back mm. looking sad yeah. Uh, yeah he's having a bit of a rough time of it at the moment i mean it was a terrific game newcastle i i think the city were much better than them uh right we have to caveat every discussion about newcastle with the fact that they don't have much on the bench but Eddie Howe, i you know why not bring on someone else? Some of your players are clearly knackered. Just bring on someone. Yeah. It's not like you've no one on the bench. These are all good footballers. Um, just bring on a fresh pair of legs. Try and see. Newcastle have, I think that's the tenth goal they've conceded in the last ten minutes of games this season. That's quite an interesting statistic. Quite a damning statistic, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anyway, there's no shame in conceding goals to Man City in it. I always, I, I there wasn't much tension. I, I always thought City would win the game. 